Did you take part in the dunk contest? Yeah, we were here. Uh, no. After knee replacement surgery, my jumping days are well behind me. What was the last time you dunked? Ooh, boy. College? I didn't say college, so that's a long time ago. I'm an old man. So that was a long time ago. Did you play hoops in high school? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. Played hoops in high school, wrestled in high school, football, and then I did all the big man events in track, too. So shot put, discus, all that kind of stuff. And then anytime they had a big man relay, I got out there and did the second man, the second leg of the four by one relay. Yeah. You play a lot of fouls. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I could play. I was good. I could play. I wasn't like a 20 point per game score, but I could play. I wasn't out there just to beat people up. Four by one relay. Yeah, yeah. For big men, not out there with the little guys. But the second leg, you gotta be a horse to do that one. So I was. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I don't know if there is a benefit in seeing these guys so close together, but when you know exactly what to expect, when Christian McCaffrey is on your mind from just a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. what does that help the defense do in preparation? Um, obviously, just familiar opponent, obviously in division. Um, and then when you play them so close by, uh, you just got a good feel if there's anything that's different from the previous year. Um, generally speaking, not a lot. I mean, they may, with them, there's a different route concepts in some ways, but a lot of things are the same. They just get to it in a different manner, a different way, formationally and all that. So that's the stuff you're aware of. Um, but they don't change a lot, but that's why they operate so efficiently. They're very good at what they do. But with some of those young guys in all the motion, I mean, I realize there was a game in between, mm -hmm. but it must help with some of that recall. It does. being able to identify it quicker. Absolutely, because they're, they're unique in how all the motions and shifts that they have pre-snap before the ball snap, not everybody does that. So they make themselves unique in that manner. So for the young players to be able to see that and get familiar, then, yeah, absolutely, second time around, that makes it a lot better. What, what did you think of how Devin Bush played when he had to go in? Uh, I thought Devin was solid. You know, obviously when you get into that role where, you know, you're getting the second unit reps, so you may not get as many reps during the course of the week. So really mentally, he has to prepare himself more. I thought he was solid while he was out there. Uh, and stepping in and kind of filling that void. And he has to dual train at a couple positions for us at, you know, nickel spot and linebacker. So I thought he handled that well. And then the short motion that they use, I think some guys have mm -hmm. what, what does that specific structure mean? Really, any of their motions, not just unique to one, it's just creating leverages in the defense. So if you don't bump correctly and they see it upstairs in the box and uh, if you don't align correctly with the motions, adjust correctly, they out leveraging the run game. And then if you're too fast with leveraging the motion, meaning you're trying to get out in front of it, they do a great job with the complement of the play action passes and the boots to get to the opposite side of the field. So they make you defend the entire field and play with great discipline. You know, that's 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 what those motions create for them. From a couple weeks ago, we saw that much more thing you'd, you'd like to see your defense do better than uh, The biggest thing is just obviously cut down on the explosive plays, you know, and just understanding what they're trying to do, kind of what I just spoke about, you know, just understanding all the motions and whatnot to create the angles in the run game, but then obviously avoiding the zones when you end up chasing the ball as hard as you do with so many of their wide zone runs. Just having that understanding of that discipline and playing deep to short on stuff. So uh, those are things that you're working on, obviously, in preparation for the matchup. In understanding that discipline, how much then do you have to know whether they're just motioning to get info gathered on your defense? Is that film studies, that in-game adjustments? I mean, there's always in-game adjustments. I believe, you know, they know already the structure and understand, like, the call the game the way he does versus everybody. Uh, he has a good feeling and understanding of the opponent's defense when he plays you. The thing that you have to do is you're playing the chess match throughout the game to kind of counteract and, kind of, you know, change up where you're doing things at to kind of throw them off beat. But he just, it's a chess match throughout the game. He's a unbelievable play caller. He does a great job. How do you attack the middle of the field more than other quarterbacks? And generally with their offense, that they do a lot of that. Everything kind of works back in between the numbers. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of his throws do that in their style, whether it was Purdy, if it was Garoppolo, that's that's the nature of their system. Is stressing them into turnovers kind of like a key in that regard that if they're going to put it over the middle of the field, you have to find a way to tip it, get it up in the air, get it in barrel? Is that one of the things you have to do? Yes, I would say that applies with any team that you play. You know, always winning the turnover battle is a big deal to give your offense more opportunities and obviously cut down on the amount of time that you're on the field. Uh, but they definitely stress you with that because a lot of their routes is deeper over the field routes and Purdy can make those throws, you know, to his credit. 
the number of Shojo balls not being used quite as much as a pass rusher as he was in 2020 when you have all those ass. Is there, I mean, has that just been hard to get to with kind of his injuries and stuff like that? Or? No, I mean, you just, you kind of, you're finding your spots and when you can go and you can do that. You know, if the thing is, is a compliment to him is when he is there, whether I'm blitzing him or not, there's a lot of protections that go his way because he brings a lot of attention to him because of his ability to blitz and win one-on-ones and things of that nature. But then in turn, that helps other guys come available too when you do send them. So uh, it's about just finding the right opportunities and time to do that. And he can still have an impact on the game if he's not blitzing because of the attention that he can draw to himself because of his reputation and resume. The blitz a lot in the fourth quarter. Is there a similarity? Is there a trend? Is there something you can point to that been the same yeah I mean I would just say just the finishing game stronger which always is a big point for us is uh you know this finish time when you get to that you know you come out a couple games where you had some slow starts in the first half third third quarter came out well before tor- fourth quarter it's always about finishing the game you know and that's obviously just keeping guys fresh the rotation you know things of that nature so that way guys don't get wore down uh, our deal when you got five guys rotated in one spot, so you just find your areas right now. <laughs> that's the that's the big thing. So just find a way to get them out there when we can and keep the rotation going. And like I said, keep guys fresh. Yeah, how much of the coming down the field is this stuff that you guys can actually control versus just hoping you have to You're trying to get me fined. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to let it be what it is. You know, they got a job to do. It's a tough job. I respect, you know, what they got to do, even as much as I may not like it in the heat of the moment. But... Christmas is coming. I'm trying to keep some change in my pocket. Thank you. All right. Appreciate you guys.